Hello family, today we're looking at another exciting job opportunity it is a position of an IT security risk manager with DHL. This job is 100% remote and it pays close to about $135,000 a year. So today we're going to be reviewing the job duties. We're going to be looking at the resume that you can use to apply for this role. We're also going to look at how can you kill the interview that will help you to get this job. Don't forget, you do not need an IT degree or experience or technical skills to be able to perform this function. Let's dive straight into it and go ahead and take a look at it. This is the job right here, IT security risk manager. And now this job pays from 95,000 to $135,000, $135,000. So let's quickly take a look at the summary and review the job description. First thing first, before we go, one thing I always like to let you know before we continue and have a deep dive is to understand who is IT security risk manager. All right. An IT security risk manager is someone who is responsible for identifying, assessing and managing risk. All right. Risk that are associated with information technology systems and infrastructure within an organization. Now, the primary focus of an information security risk manager is safeguarding confidentiality, integrity, and availability of digital assets and ensuring the overall security posture of the organization. Okay. Now let's take a look at the job summary. Before we go ahead, th there's a job brief here. This is very important. It says the IT security manager is responsible for recommending mitigations against common vulnerabilities and managing the security risk management program for the American region. So let's take a look at the things that we can quickly uh, glean from here. Number one, this job duty is basically for the American region. That's number one. Number two, you'll be responsible for recommending mitigation against common vulnerabilities. That's number two. You're going to be having to recommend mitigations against common vulnerabilities. Another thing that is very important is that you're going to be managing the security risk program. You know, DHL has a security risk management program for the American region. So you're also going to be managing that program. All right. Now, this is the summary here. The IT security risk manager is responsible for recommending mitigation against common vulnerabilities and managing the security risk management program. So basically two things when you're applying for this role and you've been called for interview, two things that you must understand is mitigations against common vulnerabilities. That's number one. Number two is managing security risk management program. All right. If you don't know security risk management program, there's something that you can Google. Okay. Every company has a risk management program. So you want to know how do they manage risk? This role will ensure that vulnerabilities are addressed and any issue impacting on the directive to address vulnerability is managed. So right here, what you can see here, it seems to me like it's kind of political, right? Number one is that you're going to ensure that vulnerabilities are addressed. Not only that, also any issues impacting on the directive to address vulnerabilities is managed. This is what that means in any organization. When you give an instruction, or when you give a direction to a team to manage a vulnerability or to remediate vulnerabilities, issues will always come up. You know, for instance, if you have a software engineering team and you're telling them that your code is vulnerable to SQL injection or to cross site scripting or to buffer overflow or anything like that, the software engineer and you give them a directive to control or to remediate that risk. Out of that direction, there will be issues that will come from the software engineering team. 
So DHL is saying that you must be able to address any issues impacting the directive to address vulnerabilities. You must be able to manage those issues. All right. Also, the role is also responsible for overseeing the distribution of alerts and bulletin to stakeholders and continually identifying and implementing measurable approach to process secure OS. So you're going to be sending the alerts that you get from your tool. So this is it. Every company has a risk management program. Now you also have a vulnerability program, your vulnerability program. You're going to use like a tool for that. You can use tenable. Some use, uh, quasis that there's so many tools that people use for vulnerability management. So you're going to be sending the alert from those tools and the bulletins to stakeholders and then our staff and everyone that is involved, you know, they are all stakeholders. So you're going to be sending it to them and to be able to ensure that everything is patched and remediated. All right. Now, so it's important. You need to read this summary and understand it better. All right. Now, essential duties and responsibilities. Uh, these are the essential duties and responsibilities. Monitor the implementation of vulnerability management uh, process. What that means is that you just have to be on top of your game to know what is going on with the vulnerability management process from end to end, you know, from scanning all your environment to uh, identifying those vulnerabilities to correcting them. You want to monitor the implementation. Also, you're going to coordinate the design and execution of vulnerability assessment. This is you having to work with a team that would use a tool to conduct vulnerability management. Translate threat intel into specific actions as it pertains to vulnerabilities. Now, one thing you must understand is you're not doing this from your head. You're not doing this from your own knowledge. Okay. The tool that you use to run scans for vulnerability management, the tool will already suggest to you how to manage it. So you're going to translate or you're going to send that suggestion to the team that is involved. Okay. Say for instance, you have a team that is involved with an application and the tool that you use for vulnerability management says this application is vulnerable to cross site scripting or is vulnerable to SQL injection. And this is how to fix it. The tool will recommend to you how to fix it. And then you send that recommendation to the team. So what you're doing is you're managing the end to end process. Okay. Uh, let's look at another one. Attend change advisory board. This is just attending meetings, brief management, writing report and briefing management on, um, things that are going on, escalate risk up until the last one that says as assist with identification creation and refinement of the team's process and procedure and ensure that these are fully documented as part of the team's operational procedure. Um, so for this last one right here, every team has operational procedure, like how, how they do their thing, right? So they're saying that you need to assist in identifying and create and refine the process. If there's anything that you think we can add to the process, if there's anything you think we can take away from the process, how can we make the process smooth and efficient, right? So you're going to be assisting them with that. So we've just reviewed the responsibilities and the duties. So from what we can see here, what are the common denominators? Number one, vulnerability management. What are the tools? You must understand what are the tools of vulnerability management? What are the tools that are used to scan? Number two, how are you going to help in ensuring that when you scan, you are able to give directive to remediate those scan. And then all the issues that come from that directive are resolved. If you've done it before, how did you do it? Can you create a story around that? So that when you get to an interview, they're going to ask you, can you give us any example of where you come across a difficult team or a difficult uh, employee that would not, um, you know, yield to your recommendation to remedy it. So you're going to create a story. How did you resolve it? What did you learn from there? And how did you move forward? So those are the things that you will come across in the interview. You must understand that. Now let's take a look at the skills. 
excellent overall understanding of cybersecurity vulnerabilities is this this is not something that is hard you can learn it you can read about it you can google it you can watch youtube for it i encourage everyone don't allow requirements experience everything scare you away from applying for these jobs skills can be learned okay you can learn it in-depth understanding of nist you can also look at nist online experience in both windows and linux environment ability to articulate raw vulnerability and audit now these the tool like i said the tool will also help you in interviewing or not interview now the the tool will help you to interpret the vulnerabilities that is recording so you're not going to be interpreting vulnerability from your head okay it's not just going to be based on your knowledge so you know that this is something that you can do so i see experiment with service now is a plus they're not saying this is required they're saying that it's a plus so if, even if you don't know service now you can learn it all right like i used to say youtube is your friend google is your friend learn service now and when you get to the interview you can tell them that you know it because you've learned it all right and that would give you edge over others that are applying or that are interviewing now these are education experience security certifications such as cissp cisa or ch is preferred again what you see here is preferred not mandatory also the number one is bachelor's degree in information technology or related field of study is preferred okay this is not compulsory it's not mandatory so if you don't have it you can still apply okay that's the difference between mandatory and then preferred right the benefits that you get working with dhl as it security risk manager you have a competitive pay bonus program that's a very good one bonus program retirement savings 401k and they match it with the they, they have a company match medical dental vision and well-being programs very good ones so you can see that they have very very nice benefits and the salary is also top notch let's look at the company itself dhl now you want to look at dhl entirely what do they do how can you help them with this position that they're asking for what help can you bring on board read about the company read about what they do think about why you think they need that role the next thing we're going to look at is your resume that will get you on the door for this role now this is the resume don't forget i have the resume in the description below so you can click the link and download the resume and use it for yourself just go ahead and follow this format this is uh, like best standard for resume and this will get you an interview now let's talk about the interview for the interview i always tell you number one understand everything you have in your experience understand everything you have in your experience your interview will be based in two parts number one is on your resume they're going to ask you questions based on your resume and number two they're going to ask you questions based on the essential duties and responsibilities you know why they do that when we interview candidates we want to understand everything that you have in your experience do you still understand them do you know them that's number one number two if you do now do you understand what we want which is the essential duties and responsibilities so make sure you understand that number three make sure you have stories that you're going to be able to tell when you're being told to talk about vulnerability management, vulnerability scanning, recommendation, remediation, and all those stuff, have everything intact so that by the time you start the interview, you're definitely going to turn the interview into a conversation, okay? And that will help you to get this role. I hope you got value from this one. And if you don't have interest in applying for this, I would advise that you share with your friends or anyone you believe they have uh, interest in applying and then let me know if or when they get the position you can comment below and i will see you guys again tomorrow with another exciting role that would be very very exciting and remote in the field of cyber security 
see you again tomorrow friends bye